So look what I did. I went from this beautiful living room to this. So you all are probably thinking, Renee, why did you change up your beautiful, newly renovated living room? Well, I'm going to explain it to you in this video. You all remember that not even a year ago, I completely renovated my entire living room. We added a brick wall and a fireplace, mounted our television on the wall, put down new flooring, got new rugs, redecorated the entire room, added new lighting, but this very large leather sectional with a recliner right here on the end was a purchase that we made a year before we did our living room renovation. And I got to be honest here, I have hated that leather sectional since the moment it arrived. There are so many things about it that I don't like. The leather is slippery. The dogs can't get comfortable on it. I can't get comfortable on it. I've had to cover each of the sections with a blanket that had a silicone grip on it just so that I could sit on the couch and not slide off into the floor. Y'all remember this moment that I shared in a prior video when our new couch arrived and Maxie, our little schnauzer, jumped up on the couch for the first time? He actually almost was thrown off into the floor because the leather is so slippery. Now, let's just go back to the moment when this couch arrived. It took over a year for this custom leather sofa to be created. We were told it would arrive to us in six months. That's what I was prepared for. It was over a year. But anyway, over time, over the not even two years since we have had this leather sofa, it has started to make creaking sounds when you sit down on it. I just don't like it. So about two months ago, my husband and I were sitting on the couch one night watching TV, all curled up with the dogs, and I'm always just so uncomfortable when I'm on the couch. I looked at him and said, you know what? I'm done with this. I am over this couch. It has got to go. I want something new. And he said, I agree. So that weekend, we went out to one of our favorite local furniture stores and on the showroom floor was the perfect sectional. Here's a picture of Randy actually sitting on the sofa in the furniture store. The fabric, the material was great, but the actual size and design of the sofa that was on the showroom floor wasn't right for our room. We brought home the fabric samples. We looked at them in the room because I was not going to change a single thing about my newly renovated living room other than this couch. So after we brought home the fabric, we knew it was going to look so good. We measured and designed the sofa and we bought it. It went into production and now eight weeks later, it is being delivered today. So I'm standing here right now waiting on the delivery truck and I want to show you up close some of the reasons why this leather sectional no longer works for our living room. First and foremost, we have almost zero clearance to get out our back door. This is the only way out into our backyard and our swimming pool. And you can see the walking area ignore this. This is for our little dog. And you can see the clearance right here is so small. I can barely walk myself through here to get out the door. Now, I'm a pretty small person, so I can make it work, but it's just quite uncomfortable for the dogs around the corner, for my husband to go out the door. We need more space here. So the new sectional we ordered is going to be much shorter and we're going to be able to bring it forward because it is not as deep and not as tall and we're going to gain some access right here and some clearance to the back door another reason this sofa is no good we have no room back here look at all of this stuff that is crammed in this little bitty corner and it looks ridiculous, but I have no room for it. So this is the, I think it's called a subwoofer or something for our television and surround sound. It has to go somewhere and I don't want it sitting out in the living room. If it's on this end, it would be exposed. If it's over here, it would be exposed. So really there is nowhere for it to sit other than back here and be disguised. Same with my olive tree. I really don't have anywhere else in my house that the olive tree works except for here. I need it to fill up this big corner and it is crammed in here with the lamp. So once we got our living room renovated, 
and we have overhead lighting we have lighting over here this corner back here was just very dark and there was no way to light it up and we needed a stand lamp and i love the lamp and i love the light that it puts off but look at this there is nowhere for the lamp it looks absolutely ridiculous stuck back here in the corner so when we get the new couch again when we're able to move it up we're going to have more room for lighting and all the things that need to be hidden behind the couch so when you look at my living room and the sofa you think it looks pretty good right and it does to be honest but sitting on a leather couch really is a challenge it is so slick and in the two years we've had the sofa it has never softened up and by softened up i mean not gotten so slick so when i sit down on the sofa right here which is where i have my coffee every single morning watch what happens i'm sliding and i'm sliding and i'm sliding like there is no way to stop the slip other than if I sit really up straight and I hook my foot in a cushion, which is what I have to do every time I want to sit here. Every morning I am in this position because otherwise I go slipping and sliding. And same for this corner. This is where I want to sit and watch television at night. And I sit down and I slide and I go and I, I'm leaning and the next thing you know it I'm all the way down here and this is not how I want to watch television so again I find myself sitting up propped in some pillows with my feet in a cushion which is not ideal this is not comfortable to me I mean sometimes yeah I want to put my feet up but other times if I want my foot out I just I go there I go you can see it happening down and down and down and down and this is where my husband likes to sit on the sofa this is his corner and in the sofa there is an electric recliner right here so this is what my husband does let me get prepared see how deep the sofa is i'm i'm short i'm only five two and this sofa is too deep i can't sit back that's another issue there are buttons inside the arm right here so when i want to put up the recliner it's great it's fine he will sit here all night long and watch television but this recliner section when it's out blocks the walkway nobody can get inside so if I get up to use the bathroom or to get something to drink when I try to come back into the living room oh see exactly this is what I have to do no good y'all no good so we simply need a sofa that does not have a recliner there yes it was a fantastic idea when we bought the sofa in theory it was going to work out great but once we renovated the living room and we have a coffee table here this recliner sticking out is in everybody's way i cannot even tell you how many times i have bumped my knee just like i did so what did i do about it I bought a new sofa. So the guys are here. They're moving my old sectional into the garage. Okay, so, oh cushions I'm sorry <laughs> I forgot about those so I'm trying to stay over here out of the way I've got the dogs put up in the bedroom because all the doors to the house are open so Maxi is barking his head off but they've got the old couch out they're starting to bring in the new pieces it is a sectional so it should be in two or three pieces they're bringing in the cushions right now and I'm beyond excited. So once I got everything vacuumed super quick, I realized that our living room rug was crooked. So I've been in there pushing and pulling and trying to just eyeball it because I only have a couple seconds. So this is what it's looking like. Empty, empty, 
empty and the new cushions are coming in. So a couple things real quick. We have the cord to our robot vacuum that has to sit right here. I don't want the cord to show. So all of the cords run behind the couch. In is the new ottoman piece and it's on wheels and the guy set it down. He was like, oh my gosh, it rolls. But look here, it's on wheels. So I'm going to be able to move it around. It can be a coffee table. It can sit over here or we can pull it up in front of the couch when Randy and I want to snuggle up together. I'll show you when everything gets put together. So the guy has come in a couple times and caught me talking to myself on my phone like this and I had to tell him, I'm sorry, I'm not filming you, I promise. I said, I'm a YouTuber, I'm vlogging. Whoo, redoing my living room and he just kind of laughed but I didn't want him to think I was filming him because truly I'm not. I'm trying to get shot super quick from when they're outside because I want to show you all the whole transformation. What fun would it be if I went from this to this and you all didn't get to see what was happening in the middle. The movers are going, those guys were so nice to move my old couch. I did tip them $20 a guy for their, you know, for their help. I had to. Y'all, we are dripping sweat. It is horrible weather but I've had the back door open the front door open the garage door open those boys have been in and out and up and down the steps and you all saw me every time that they would leave I would frantically vacuum and then I realized that the base to our robot vacuum that has to sit right there is plugged in way down here on the other end of the couch I know y'all don't care about this but I'm gonna tell you anyway so I found a flat plug Put it in the wall right here got the robot vacuum plugged in because once this couch gets set this sucker isn't moving it is heavy but here it is it's not probably in exactly the right spot when my husband gets home we're gonna have to play with this because what really matters is the distance of this part of the couch to the television because we don't want to have to sit on the couch looking up to watch tv but look how much room we have look at this fantastic amount of clearance now looky here i have all of this room to get through i can open the door the dogs are going to be able to get out so much easier and really the couch comes out the same distance but it is so much shorter on this side that's why we were able to move it up just a little bit and oh my gosh can we just talk about this ottoman i got to figure out where it's going to sit but this ottoman opens up Look at that. I can keep my blankets in there, my spare pillows, all of the things, and I can use it right here as a coffee table. I can put it over here once I get this mess cleaned up, or the plan is to pull it. Urgh, can't do it. It's on wheels. So the plan is to pull it over here when my husband and I watch TV at night so we can actually sit there together and both have a place to put our feet. Oh, finally. So my husband's calling me. He's like, how is it? How is it? And I'm trying to send him pictures. He's going to FaceTime me. I'm going to show him the new couch super quick. And I'm going to get the room cleaned up, get the tags all cut off and everything situated the best that I can. And then I'll show you what the finished living room looks like. So I've been in here trying to arrange all of the furniture and figure out the coffee table. But all I can think about is Maxie barking because he is locked in my bedroom. So I'm going to set up my tripod. I'm going to let the boys out. They're going to get to come in the living room and see the furniture for the first time ever. And then hopefully he will simmer down so that I can calm down. Look at this sweat on my face, literally dripping. I'm going to have to turn the air conditioning on. And then I'm going to show you all around my brand new sectional. I know there's smells. There's been strangers in here. But what do you guys think? Look at this, y'all. They, they don't even realize there's a new couch. Oh, Pollux just realized it. Maxie's behind the couch, smelling all the things, huh, Pollux? What do you think? Are dogs going to be allowed on the new couch, Pollux? I don't know about it. What, what is their deal with the sectional? Or with the uh, ottoman? Oh, look how much room Maxie has to get out that door. What do you think about it, Pollux? Is it something new? Oh, it's something new. You don't even care. You're just worried about the smells from the boys that was in here. 
Look at that tail wagging. <laughs> Pollux is such a sniffer. He loves to use his nose. That's so funny. But look how much room they have to get out. Oh, it was one of the reasons we wanted a new sectional was for this very, very reason. Okay, do y'all want to go out? Do you want to go out? I'm surprised y'all didn't jump on the new couch, which is fantastic. But here we go. Oh, right in the mud, directly in the muddy water. Got to make sure I close the fence or they would get out in a second. Right, Paulix? No muddy paw prints are coming in on the couch, just so you know, boys. I'm going to shut this. So one of the dilemmas is, do we let the dogs on the new couch? We have discussed this in length. And as much as I would love for them to not get in the sofa because Pollux digs, he will tear up the sofa. Pollux sheds, he will tear up the sofa. And even though Maxie doesn't shed, he is always dirty. He is out in the yard. He... Uh, he rolls in the yard. Y'all have seen him do it. His little paws collect dirt and leaves and all of those things. And he runs right in and he jumps on the couch. I don't want them on the sofa. But Maxie is 13 years old. Honestly, don't think there is any way that I can teach him not to get on the sofa. You all know that I got a sofa in my office. And for the longest time, I tried to teach an old dog new tricks not to get on the sofa it did not work. I gave up. I just have to put a blanket on myself and I can't enjoy it. So I'm going to try to not let them up here, but in the end, they're probably going to be on the new sofa. And on cue, they heard me talking about them. Let's let them in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, and off they went. Oh, you're, all you thinking about is a treat because you were outside and you were in mama's bedroom for a while. That's all you're thinking about, huh, Pollux? Hey, don't you even think about it, sir, with those wet feet. Now we're going to smell the sofa. <laughs> what do you think, boys? Mama is liking it. Look at this view from back here. So this is a lazy boy sectional. You can pick and choose all of the pieces and parts, and it fits together to make it really fit any room. So these two cushions are a piece there's an armless section here then a middle pie same thing on this side armless section and in piece with the arm so it created this huge sectional that is perfect for my living room so the material is fabric it's not leather thank goodness and it's a little hard to see in this video, but it's a charcoal gray. You can tell there's some caramels mixed in there and some creams. I laid my favorite blanket over the back of the couch, which is what I cuddle up with every single night. And then these are the throw pillows from the old couch. I don't know that I love them, but for now they're going to do. So let's check out this corner section. I have not sat on it yet. This is where I sit every single night and watch TV. The dogs are normally on this section of the couch beside me. I'm going to see how this is going to work out. Oh my gosh. So good. I have this entire seat. I can put my feet out. I can put my feet up. I can be at a diagonal. Oh, oh mooey. Mama just said you wasn't supposed to be on a new couch and you're wet. On top of it, you're wet. See? Yeah. Oh, Pollux. Okay. You just go right here. Let Mama finish talking. I can turn this way if I want to. Am I sliding? No. I'm not sliding because it is upholstery. I can move my cushion any way that I want and sit here. Can you move, sir? How about you get off the couch? Let's just get off the couch. Beep, beep. Okay. Blech. He's wet. Now my couch is officially dirty. And, mm -hmm. and what's going to happen when I try to sit right here and have my coffee in the morning? Let's test it out. Watch out, Moo. So I like to put my pillows behind me. Have a good, comfy back. And I get up here and I sit just like this with my feet crossed and I drink my coffee and I can look out the window and I watch the sun come up. <sighs> so 
nice. Y'all, I am beyond thrilled. I'm so excited to have a new couch. So, what did I do with my old couch? Well, we thought we had sold it to someone, and at the last minute, she came over to do one last bit of measuring, and it wasn't going to fit in her living room. The long side of the sectional was going to block a doorway. So, I have it listed on Facebook Marketplace. It's only been on there for two days. I haven't sold it yet, but it had to get out of this room today. So the guys moved the sectional into my garage. Probably gonna let it sit there for a couple days. And if I don't sell it, I think I'm gonna ask my dad if he wants it. He has a gigantic living room with a very, very, very old and worn out couch. My dad doesn't even sit on the couch. He sits in a recliner so we could get rid of his really old couch, put the sectional in there, and he can still sit in his recliner, and he would be happy as a clam. So I think that's probably where my sectional is going to end up. So the plan is for the ottoman to kind of stay in this corner when my husband and I are not snuggling on the couch together. I think it just kind of adds something to a bare corner. I can put things on it if I want to. Because it's on wheels, it just zips right over here we can sit together and then move it back out of the way well that was the plan in theory but now that everything is in the living room I kind of feel like that coffee table is a little odd I feel like the coffee table would need to be centered in this section which is really going to clog up the walkway here and as much as I love this coffee table I'm considering making the ottoman the coffee table. What do you think? Let's swap it around and just test it out and see what it looks like. Well, that's kind of cute, y'all. I'm kind of digging that. Got to figure out the right placement. I think I'm a little crooked here. The wheels make it a little hard to put it in a spot and have it stay. That looks really good, though. Whoa. Okay, so I have options. So now you know what I'm up to today. I'm going to play around with all the things. I'm going to get everything measured and make sure that it's all spaced in the brand new living room properly. And I cannot wait for my husband to get home and see this in person. And tonight we're going to settle on the couch. We're going to watch a TV show and I'm just going to bask in the fact that I am not slipping and sliding. If you're interested in the couch that I just purchased, it is a Lazy Boy couch. I will put all the details in the description box below. You can go directly to their website. I will have the fabric link there and you can get one for your house. Have a good day, guys. See you later. You know, you'd have to look at the picture and see if they can even be built this way. All right. Moo, are you squished? <laughs>